Hi guys! Well, we are live. Welcome to Utechbia. Today we're talking about Luminar 4, and it's a really, really awesome software for professional and amateur to basically make artificial intelligence to really. Oh, you got some feedback going. You want to turn off that? Sorry audio <laughs> yeah, yeah i turned it off already turned no worries no worries so yeah so uh before we're interrupted by the feedback audio <laughs> so we're, we're pretty much gonna talk about luminar 4 which is amazing software and it's really cheap the price is down below like it does everything you need as a photographer amateur photographer or professional photographer i think you'll find a lot of value out of it basically it's a small software you can use it as a lightroom plugin you can actually use it in photoshop or you can use it as a standalone that means you don't have to buy any other software you just need to download this software and just run it. And what you do is you open up the software, you pick your favorite photo, for example, one that has a dull, ugly sky. You do one click to replace the sky, it will pick out the parts of the sky that's dull, replace it with an amazing sky. And you can choose from different skies and whatnot. There's tons of stuff and we're gonna talk about all that today. And the reason why you see this guy with me today, his name is Jeremy and he's a photographer. I'm a wedding photographer for 10 years, but this guy, he's been a photographer for like 15 years. And in addition to that, he has a graphics artist background. So he knows the nuts and bolts about the pixels, manipulation of colors, post-processing and all that. And he's been using Luminar 4 to do a lot of these amazing, amazing stuff with his photo. The reason why I want to bring him on board is also, he's been doing post-processing and editing photos for like years manually in Photoshop going back into way back in the days where it took him like a couple of hours just to replace the sky. So you're going to get from a person that does it manually as a craft and now this software can allow him and you to also change the sky within seconds. So Jeremy, let me have you introduce yourself and tell them whatever you want to tell them. Hi, I'm Jeremy. Um, like Jerry Derek said, I'm also a photographer, but then I consider myself more of a retoucher. Um, I think the reason why they got to be here is because rather than just a photographer, I'm also an ambassador for Skynums. I do a lot of inputs for them because, you know, even though it's AI, but they still need data. So where do they get the data from? From the photographers. So I'm one of the photographers who kind of giving data to how, you know, all this AI put together. So uh, hopefully I could show you how this software works. Hey, David, do you mind sharing my screen right now? Yeah. I have Numina turned on. Oh. And there's your little preview. So you are Jeremy Chan, a professional wedding mm -hmm. photographer and a portrait photographer. That's some of your work right oh. there too, right? Those are beautiful yes, yes. photos. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I don't Love really it. It's a sh it feels shame to you know read about my own bio, but you know, <laughs> I got to know who I am. I would like you to show you that quote because this is the quote that Scott kind of asked me to like how I feel about Luminar. So um, this is the quote that I give them, and I truly believe it. it's like. What I, what I mean is that emotion is a major factor when it comes to creating storytelling image. Doesn't matter if you do landscape, portrait, or street photography. Emotion needs to be there. So with the help of Luminar's AI technologies, photographer can now fully focus on the emotion and storytelling part and rather than worry about the technical part of how to make the picture look good because the software helps you so much to create that. All you have to think about is how to put the story and emotion into your pictures. That's how right. good Luminar is. I mean, that's okay. amazing. That, 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 that is like a big feat in itself, right? Because even mm -hmm. on a day that you, you want to be a great photographer, you have all the tools, you have beautiful models, or you're working with amazing people, you go out and take a perfect photo. But guess what? You can control everything, but you can't control the weather. Sometimes you have a terrible sky. And that's why the software, you can take an amazing photo still. And because the sky is not great, don't worry. You can go back and replace the sky. That's the amazing part about you the software. You know what, David, that's a funny story. Because um, yeah. I'm a wedding photographer, but I do something rather than wedding. I do something called pre-wedding, which is more like engagement, going yes. out to do uh, bridal sessions in, ah, internationally. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a curse or not. Like almost every <laughs> time I went to locations, yeah, I don't get a good sky. You know, you see those like really warm, <sighs> dramatic, like sunset yes. sky. Never, yeah, never got those. So in the good old days, I have to do it manually put skies in, and I, I kid you not, I just never get a good skies. I always have to do something about it, like after or in post, in Photoshop or whatnot. So when Luminar introduced this AI sky replacement, mm -hmm. I freaked out. I was like, dude, where were you ten years ago? <laughs> I was like, we need that so much. 
Well, at the same time, I feel that those difficult challenges, opportunities gave you really good practice. You got to get really good at Photoshop, right? You had to really force yourself to be able to change the sky and make those manipulation. <clears throat> and now that you're a professional, you can do it so well, you really appreciate how amazing Luminar 4 is. It pretty much takes all of Jeremy's skills and puts it in your hand for this cheap, cheap price. Again, link down below if you're interested in checking it out. I think it's like as a photographer, we always think about what gear to buy. What's the next thing to make your photography better, right? You think about a better lens, other than the Nifty 50, which is the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, for about 100 bucks or less, the <clears> best way to improve your photography is this software. Trust me. And I'll, I'll come back to that in a little bit. I'll let, I'll let Jeremy uh, play around with the software so you can kind of see what it can do. So Jeremy, what, what, are we, what are you about to show them here? Well, talk is cheap. So let me really show you because <laughs> how I do this guy thing. <laughs> So this is the interface of Luminar right now. I have the bar, which is my library. I can show you that later. Right now, I just want to show you that one thing before you find this is boring. So if I go to okay. this tab, which is called Creative, yep. and right on the first tool is AI Sky Replacement. If I click my favorite on it, feature, by the way, the AI Sky Replacement. It is so easy to use. You just go down. You have the, all this sky, which is built in already. Just click on it. This is the way. Whoa, what just no happened? No way, no way. <laughs> right? So, okay, okay, just you like did that. not, okay, just to make sure everyone knows, we didn't prep this photo in any way. This photo came out of camera and you just load the photo into the software and you click AI mm -hmm. Sky Replacement. It's called AI Sky Replacement because it stands for Artificial Intelligence. The software has been sampled with many, 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 many billions of photos to know what part of the picture is the sky. So it'll crop out the sky and replace it with whatever sky you want to replace it with. So again, that was just one click on this photo that he did. That's fantastic. So this is nothing because look, this is the sky we replaced, right? <laughs> and if I go to original sky, it's kind of blue sky similar, yeah. right? Now imagine if I were turn it into a sunset, it works too. Oh, wow. That's... Actually, I have a better sense that picture. I like this one better. There you go. Nice, so, nice. I mean, you can totally change thing. the mood of the photo. Oh, yeah. Because all yeah, because of absolutely. this function called we light scenes here. Yeah. A lot of people, when they replace sky, all they do is replace the sky. But <laughs> right, they forget right. about the foreground. Yes. Now, when you replace sky, unless so happened that the lighting of mm -hmm. the sky mm -hmm. that you place and your actual picture are the same, then you don't have to right. do anything. But what's the chance of that, right? So it, a lot of people, yeah. you have, a lot of time, you have to relight the scenes in the front to make it believable. If you go around Google and search around for um, some of the pictures, you see some of the guys say, "How come it doesn't look kind of fake?" Right. And some look believable, but if both yes. of them are actually we play the sky with, yes, that's major because this relight scene, what it does is actually help. You see how it is? It looks oh, yeah. more and more. Okay, this is before and after. Yeah, I mean, you see how, like it, the. Yeah, I mean, like you can definitely see the before and after. If you put it right in between there, you can see, I mean, of course the sky is replaced, but look, the effect of look, the look sky is on the building too, right? Mm -hmm. Now the fact is actually warm up the whole scene because the sunset right. is supposed to be warm. So that's right. what it is. That's what the AI did. Right, and, and this goes back- manually. Exactly. And this goes back to the days when people work on Photoshop and you, you make a photo and you think it's great. And then when you look at it from like a, a new pair of eyes, you're like, this looks Photoshop. It doesn't look right. Something's off with it, right? And that's because mm -hmm. you have this amazing sky or you have this amazing background, but it doesn't look believable because your eye is smart. It knows that, okay, if the sky is orange, why is the building reflecting a blue, blue exactly. sky? It doesn't make sense, right? So, so a, yeah. this program is basically built for everybody. Mm -hmm. If you are just beginner, you can just click it, works, right? But if you are somewhat of like a control freak like I am, <laughs> if you look at the advanced settings, you can pretty much control everything. Now, yes. I'll show you a little bit of it. Let's sure. zoom in here. You see, you see how it this way here? This guy yeah. got in the corner a little bit, right? So yep. you can play around with all these different things, like Sky Global, Closing Gap, Sky Logo. So yep. let's say trade maybe with low Closing Gap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can adjust here. You see how basically all that sky that got into the building can get off. Right. Depends how right. you play with it. 
right? Right. Same thing up there. And if I go back to flip the screen, I could also yep. flip this guy if I wanted to. Ooh, <laughs> let's see. That. Oh, wow. Right, because sometimes you, the, the, this is the angle looks better with the picture. It flows with the axial direction, or maybe mm -hmm. it just looks better where it lights the face and it looks just more, more natural. So it makes sense to be able to flip this guy. I think this guy looks better flipped this way. Very, very this cool. Way? Yeah, I like oh, it. Oh yeah, it looks more dramatic, right? Right, I mean, and you have so much option to try, right? You're not limited to like whatever sky you have that day. You can just, you know, pick the sky that you want. And you, if it doesn't work, you just try a different sky. You have so much options, so much variety. And again, like AI helps you. And the, the gist of it is that it creates the mood you want to provide. That's like really what this tool is doing. It's not like a flashy tool to make your photo look better, but as a professional photographer or as a hobbyist photographer, if you're really into making your, your picture tell a story, the sky and the color effect is very important part of telling the story. You know, here's a funny story. I did a class yeah. the other day talking about um, uh, luminaires, right? Mm -hmm. And they're asking me, so how does all this function works? Right. Guess what I told them? Well, you have to break the program first so you can learn it. So I tell them, you know what? You just see the sky global, push yeah. it all to 100. See what it does. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. So we well, might go to 100, so the sky will actually cover all this building. I don't want to turn right. it down. Right. So you know what that function do now, right? That's a great idea. Yeah. Same thing goes close the gap. Try it. Oh, so it will take it that way. So I let it mm -hmm. get it more. So you got to right. have to feel the program by breaking it. Right. Right. I mean, th this is this is what makes a good software great because you don't need to read the manual to really use the software. You don't need to know anything about the slider like Jeremy just presented. You just play with the slider so there's not that many. You play with it, you yeah. see the effect and you tune it to what you want. And there's and it comes with all these sunsets. These are not preloaded by ourselves. This comes with the software. I guess that means it's preloaded. It, what I'm trying to say is we didn't have to buy these sunsets from somewhere else and add it in or download it or it's not no, our collection or anything. So all there's comes two other things. The you software. Could, there's two other yeah. things. You could, um, I think from time to time, they mm -hmm. sky them themselves, they kind of come up with more Skype texture like right. this. So you could go to their sky image and download more and new ones eventually. And, you know, some people take a lot of pictures of the skies too. Yes. You could also load custom sky image, which is in your own hard drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, if you, I, I think that'd be cool because like if you uh, go to a day that has a beautiful sky, but that beautiful sky only lasts 15 minutes and you want the rest of the photo mm -hmm. for that session to have the same beautiful sky, well, take your camera out and take that shot. You can use it in the rest of their photos, plus you can use it for any other photos you've taken in the future or in the past because that's your sky texture but again you don't need any of that because it comes preloaded with a whole bunch the all the skies you saw on the list that comes included with luminar 4 at that one simple price right down below and again this is a standalone software that also has a photoshop plugin also has a lightroom plugin right now we're using it as a standalone because you don't need Photoshop mm -hmm. and you don't need Lightroom. This is how we're using it. But if you want, we can demonstrate later how you can use it as like from Photoshop to like, basically you're working in Photoshop, you want to use the Lumina 4, it pops out, you do what you need, and it goes back to Photoshop as a new layer. So really cool, so, awesome integration. So this is how um, the yep. standalone looks like. When you open it, it looks like right. this. This is like a portrait view or you could go thumbnail views. So this is your library, right? Yep. That's your shortcut up there. You can add the folder in your hard drive in there. So all the photos. So I have a folder called Amazon Live Demo. So this is the picture yep. that we use tonight. So this yep. is all the picture there is in there, right? Mm -hmm. And I could go to info and look at all the information for every single different image, from what camera does it taking from, what lens, what ISO, what app stop, what shutter. Yep. Yep. EV. So I mean, I, I do all manual mode, so the EV never shows up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. And then also, so what focal length is shooting this with? Yep. See, and not to mention, you could actually create albums, meaning that if mm. I have a couple of folders together, mm -hmm. I can select a uh, few of them and then create album, which that the same category of photos. So it's right. kind of organizing sort of like how Lightroom is. So it had mm -hmm. that while Photoshop don't have. Yes. Right. Yep. Yeah. It's a kind. Of, it's kind of like in between Lightroom and Photoshop. It has all the nice workflow benefits. Well, not the full workflow benefit, but it has all these benefits that you see here that came from Lightroom, 
but it also has powerful features that you don't get in Lightroom. So it's like, it's like kind of right between the flexibility of like full blown Photoshop versus just Lightroom. So it's a great tool to add to any photographer, whether you don't it's have any software. Yeah. It, it's a hybrid between Photoshop and Lightroom. Like for example, right. like if I go to Pulse, I could either yeah. add a photo image, is kind of how Lightroom is, it, which is have a whole mm -hmm. bunch of image import, imported into mm -hmm. the software, or mm -hmm. I could just add a single image. My yes. choice. Right, right. You want to do a quick and dirty, just screw a single image, it's fine. You want to be organized and have a folder and album, do that as well. So. You got everything you, you can ask for. Mm hmm. Very and cool. then once you which, which realize, okay, let me show something which is interesting. I'll show this picture here. Okay. Okay. So I this think this guy looks is... good already. That's a pretty nice yeah, guy. Yeah, it is. But then just so showing you that you can also do more. Uh -huh. uh, for example, like this is kind of from a photographer point of view, right here mm -hmm. in the middle. You know, mm -hmm. this cow formation up there is it's amazing. But right. down here, right. it's kind of back, right? There's yeah, nothing that's there. true. And, that is true. So we can always fix that. Let's say, how's that one look? I think this one looks like, yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> That changes the mood completely. This is more romantic, more intimate than the other one. Because the other one was kind of too bright. Yeah. And again, I can see how the sky affects the color of the people too. Like the, the, the purplish tone also reflects off her dress too. And like the details that is cropping out to find out the sky is amazing. Because normally, like to, to actually go into Photoshop and mask out the part that's the sky and then replace the sky as a layer probably would take me like an hour, maybe two hours. Oh, yeah. But with this application, it's one click. That's amazing. One click. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Looks pretty yeah. clean. It so is the whole reason for efficient. this picture, I want to do this because if yep. you look at the sky about all the right. cloud and then there's missing information there. So basically the couple and the cloud can connect and right. it's, the cloud's too far away. So if I bring in this cloud here, the cloud is yep. behind them. So I could actually crop out the top if I wanted to become like a 16 by nine picture yes, and it looks yes. kind of cinematic. Right. Let's try that. Yeah, you can, oh, you can crop right in here? Oh, oh yeah. that's totally. nice. So you can nice. choose uh, your ratio, let's say 16 by nine, Perfect. so I could do that. Right. See? You can also do custom ratios, right? Because sometimes I love the super oh, yeah, long course. ones. Like I think it's like 32 by 9. Like a super long wide one. Those look so amazing. I think that might be oh, too big one. for this one. But you can go manually, right? Like you can crop it up. Right there, see? Yeah, there you no, go. There you go. That one looks, there you go. That looks good. I mean, I would this put that on a wall. This is perfect for your banner. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, that's any true. Kind of yeah. YouTube banner as well. See? That's perfect. Right. So right. And with the previous guy, we crop it yeah. this way. You got nothing. Exactly. But with this, it's way more romantic. With the, I don't know. To me, purple is romantic, right? At least I think it, so. <laughs> I mean, it's art. It's a personal preference, right? But you have options. That's what the software allows you to do. Like you can just see there. You can replace the sky with any sky. You come. It comes to a bunch of built-in sky. You go and update to the latest one whenever they have new updates for you. And also, you can import your own sky and use any sky you want. And the software oh, yeah. does all the masking, so it's one click and it replaces the sky with whatever sky you want. Yeah, I, mean, I like this. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about a function just with the AI's placement. Sure. So the horizontal bending up here. Right. You, let's, play, let's break it. So you see how basically just it's mm -hmm. a blending how the horizontal line blends, right? If I right. go slower lumber, it blends yep. more and better. Yep. If I mm -hmm. increase it, you see how the original sky down there is actually right. resurfaced. Yes. So that's what yes. this. It's like the so mix. How you, much mix yeah. do you want? So in this case, even though the word of the function is called replacement, but in some cases yeah. you want to mix your new sky and your original sky together to get that effect as well. So this is where you can play around with it. Right, depending on the photo. Like if you have a photo that doesn't have a sky at all, it's all overcast and it doesn't matter. But yeah, like if you, you have a little bit of cold. cloud, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep, exactly. So, like how much of it do you want to mix and, and show? That's pretty cool that you have the fine flexibility. Now, all these sliders, when you open the software for the very first time, <laughs> how are they set, Jeremy? Or did you have to fine tune them or do they pre predefine like a nice tasteful configuration for you already? 
Um, when they started, they have a tasteful mm-hmm. config- configuration for you already. Okay. But at certain point, if you use a lot, and it will save your last setting because last they try okay. to learn how you use the skies, so they will save right. your last setting from how you repair your last with your skies, and then just keep it there. That makes sense. Yeah, that's sweet. Mm-hmm. And the nice thing about saving your setting is, is once it knows your setting, you can kind of like batch it, like without even looking at the photo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just like say, totally I want cool. all these five photos. The sky replaced the same way, and it's not a quote unquote stupid replacement. It's actually a smart AI replacement, right? Because mm-hmm, it will mm-hmm. reevaluate each photo and apply the same algorithm to it versus copy and paste the effect on each photo. Whereas in Lightroom, if you do one setting, it'll do the same setting to all your photo without thinking. This one, it actually thinks and reevaluate each photo when you apply it in batch. So amazing. So when you technology. actually first select the the skies and put it in there. Right. What the AI right. did, a couple of things. The one is they figured out where the horizontal line is. Yes. And then second thing is they figured out, okay, uh, where the edges is for all the trees and all the architectures, right? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. why they get uh, that. And also they figured out how much relating scenes they should put it into the front ground. Right. Now, what I mean by that is, if you look at the relating scenes, if I turn it all off. Okay, yeah, break it if to I see go, it. See, it has minimum. Yeah. No, 100, it looks more purplish. Yeah, because all the sky is kind of related on them. But that that's almost too much, right? You see how originally the dress didn't get any color cast? Right, right. That, so that's like when you Photoshop just the sky. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... sometimes, we, it, mm-hmm. to be honest, there's no right answers of, of this. Like, what is the right thing to do? It's just up to it's your arts. own taste. You have yeah. options. You ha- definitely have options. And then um, besides this one, another function down here is called atmosphere haze, which is yep. also very good. So instead of mm. feeling the light and the color in the front ground, what atmosphere haze do is actually taking what the front ground color and the brightness is and change the sky. You see how that is? Oh, so it's the opposite two, effect. Yeah. Yes. So you play around this and the light scenes together, you will find right. that perfect match. It's a balance of how much of the sky you want to affect your main subject and versus the mm-hmm. other option is how much of the color and brightness from your subject do you want to push onto the sky. So it's like the yes. balance of that. And there's no right or wrong answer. Mm-hmm. You just play around with it and whatever you feel. And what I love is like the before and after because you know, when you play with photos a lot, you manipulate the, the heck out of them. You forget like how much you've changed. You know, it's good to be able <laughs> yeah, to have before and after, time. right? Yeah, so I, I love that. <laughs> yeah. The, the result is just amazing. It's, it's just amazing. I mean, the good thing they do that here is um, they give you the AI, which is the way light scenes and mm-hmm. the atmosphere haze is AI, right? It calculated for you. But at the same yes. time, we go look, look down there, they have the sky temperature and sky exposure. So you could mm-hmm. actually change the temperature of the sky yourself oh, wow. as well as exposure. You know, I never even knew that because I always thought when you wanted an orange sky, you had to pick one of the skies that's already orange. But right here, you're just telling me Uh-oh, you can just change you the temperature. You could, yeah, you could control the sky itself by merging the sky more to the front ground or give it more temperature cooler. Yeah. Or, oh, wow. Or right. And again, it uh, it still plays with the relighting too because Brighter as you address that, I mm-hmm. can see the people getting a little bit warmer too just so it makes it more believable. Like, you really can't, you can't screw this up. Like, unless you just push all the, the sliders to the very edges, like all this, as long as the sliders are within, in the middle, they all look great. Like, stuff like this takes hours, maybe even a whole day to do. And here, we've been doing demonstrations, but we've got like five, six options already. Just this guy, no, nope. this guy, no, nope. this guy, no. Nope. But all those are viable options too. It's just depending on your taste. You have so much options and you can thrill your clients. You can thrill your friends and family because you're like, oh, check out this picture I took. And then this is sky. Oh, they don't like it. And you place it with a different sky. So you have so much flexibility with this software. You know what? This program is, I would say is more fun than any other software because this version I have right now in my computer is Lumina 4.2. I believe if yeah. you if you buy it from the link below, mm-hmm. um, they will also give the latest version, which is Lumina 4.2. Yeah. With Lumina 4.2, they have this function yep. called AI Argument Sky. Hmm, Do you know what that? that is? No, I That's actually haven't heard about it. this one. This is, a new, this is a new feature they just, they just added? Mm-hmm. 
the full point too. What? What is? What are you? <laughs> All right, that that's that's pretty crazy. As cheesy as it is, I can see. Yeah, if you make it small, you like you blend it in. Do you know how those those pictures that go viral where people are running from a dinosaur, the brighter part uh-huh. is running from a dinosaur. Uh-huh. This this can make you get that effect so easy, so so easy. Well, that's just, really let automate us, everything. That's a crazy thing the team put in there. But normally, let's yeah. say what happened. Um, uh, let's see, let's let's say if your sky is not enough clouds, right? Right. You give a cloud. No. <laughs> <There> you <go. laughs> so, so not only do they give you a bunch of textures, they give you like Lego pieces to make your sky any way you want. Like right now, I think the, cl- the sky can, should be flipped or the cloud should be a little bit flipped. But anyway, like you can put it anywhere. You can control the brightness, the colors, like uh, the effect you want and <laughs> how, how transparent and how much it blends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Also, Let's say yes. this might be crazy, but let's try that. I can put my <laughs> Fuji behind it. That <laughs> actually almost looks believable. If you don't, if you don't, if you come from like another planet and you don't know that's Mount Fuji, you're like, that's believable. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's- wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that that just changes the atmosphere like completely from like a summer to like a winter photo in that right. Like you can now send this as a Christmas card. Versus before, it'd be great for like a summer or fall card. If you look at this, they're also yeah. using all the clipping that the sky does, so it looks pretty darn good. Oh yeah, I mean that's the whole AI again. It masks all that smart, like, all the little like the parts for the trees and all the crevices between the leaves and the branches. Man, when you do that in Photoshop and you have to mask and do like feathering, it <laughs> takes hours. This thing takes that and does it in fractions of a second. So all the time you're spending or, is but, your. Uh, <laughs> you can put a rainbow in it. That's pretty That looks believable. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on the scene. Like, this one may look too centered with the light post right in the middle, but hey, it frames really well. But yeah, that. you, you <laughs> have so much flexibility with this. It's fun because like this gives you this gives the photographer and the artist back the time they need to make art, to work with art, right? You rather Mm -hmm. spend time playing with these features, with these gauges, with these dials to fine tune your sky, add the elements, adjust the relighting, the merging of the balance and the blending, all that, versus spending the two hour to like go crop out your sky and spend two hours making a perfect mask because that's done at a step of a finger. Then you can, what? Birds? Oh wow. Yeah, I yeah, so now you're telling a story, right? Like if you were telling a love story and you, you wanted to wait for the perfect moment where the birds are flying, and you're like, okay, hold that pose, the birds are coming, the birds are coming, and then the perfect mm-hmm. timing when the birds are there, but then a couple of sneeze, like, oh my gosh, you just ruined that moment we waited a whole day for. But now in this tool, you can put birds anywhere you want, and it's believable. It doesn't look fake at all. Like Okay, so so someone challenged me like that. Okay, so, yes. oh, you don't kill only one session of birds right now. Yeah. Now, a lot of people didn't realize that what um, Numenai has is that Lightroom don't have is also they have layers. Oh. So what I can do is add another new adjustment layers on top of this original image and huh. go to here. Just wait a little bit. It's loading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we should, we should prefix that Jeremy's computer is like six years old now. Yes. So even <laughs> a six old. years old computer is able to like do re- work reasonably well with the software. But if you have something very modern, like within a few years, don't worry. The software will run you know very what? efficiently. Mm-hmm. For sure. Forget it. For this, <laughs> this is not worth it. Wait, no time. worries. Sure. I mean, like the sky yeah, replacement you add, is you can really... You multiple wor- layers and add multiple yeah. birds. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. So and you move around with that, you know. It's pretty sure. cool. Yeah, and definitely. It egos. What else would I have? <laughs> Fireworks. If there's the other time oh, that would yeah. be believable. That is I mean if you have a dark sky, that would be believable. And you could probably change the sky to something darker. And you can add your own texture to right. have like a night sky. Let's try that. Let's yeah. try that. Why not Let's try that? Can, can we do that? Uh, do they have a nice uh, guy that you can just swap in? There you go. Whoa! Now see this one. I think the people are too dark. If we lighten the people up a little bit, that's Ooh, much better. <laughs> that 
I mean, okay, we just went from like a summer to a fall to a winter and now like a romantic 4th of July night. And all we did is play around with some sliders and pick some options in the software. Yeah. Again, this software is cheaper than any lens you can buy. The price is down below. Like the cheapest lens you can buy for a camera that's really good, I think it's always the Nifty 50, which is like the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, which if you don't have that, you should definitely get that. But if you, if you want to improve your photography and you have like a hundred bucks or so to spend, this software goes a long way. I mean, this one software, you'll be using this for the rest of your career because it has so much applications. Like you can, you can, you can really explore your creativity. Like this guy is- Oh, uh, you can be a you, super you, good you, one. You, I, went, going, I went too far. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, just, who, who, there's so much who, fun to play with it. Yeah, right. But this this is what help. separates. Yeah, this is this starts to blur the line from like photography, like realism photography, to actually like art. Right? It blurs it's it because it's more like digital digital imaging uh, making. Yes. So they give you more f tools that you need mm -hmm. as a photographer, but right. they give creative creators something to create. Right, and you know, some sometimes like you look at a picture like this. It depends on the people and the clientele you're going after. They might say, oh, this is cheesy. This doesn't look natural. But if this is your style, or maybe you have your natural style, but you throw in a couple of these as like your, your wow shots, right? It could be an addition to your style. Stuff like this, when they see when your clients see this kind of stuff on your portfolio, it takes you on a whole different level than the competition. Because you know, when people are shopping around, for example, for wedding photographers, they're gonna look through your everyone's portfolio and they're all gonna kinda look the same, especially if they're in the same area. Like if we're in the Bay Area right now, everyone's gonna have like the San Francisco Bridge, um, the Palace mm -hmm. of Fine Arts, and certain locations. But when you have all these effects, they're like, wow, this is beyond like what I see naturally, right? So you can say, oh, well, I can do this and I can do normal photography too and I can do a mix of them. And it's oh, yeah. so easy to do, why not, right? Like a few clicks can provide this. And again, you can batch process a whole bunch of photos with all the skies and replace them the same way. So it's it's really quick. Like it's it makes the workflow I mean, amazing. When I play with this software, it's yeah. just, you know, you can use it for work definitely because I would play this guy like yep. crazy with this because it's so easy to use. At the same yes. time, when you are just having fun with it, you want to be creative, yes. you don't even worry about it because it's just so, you just play around level and it's, it just came up with amazing results. So it's good that when you have no direction where you're going and you just go yeah. play with it, try to break the program. You can't really break yeah. the program if you want because <laughs> you can always come back, right? Right. Well, what do you mean so, by break the program? It's I mean you make it look bad, but you're not you're not crashing the yeah. program or anything like that. No, 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 no. Yeah. When I say break, like, because when they first set, let's say I'm changing this guy, right? It looks perfect right, right now. But right. I can always break it by doing this sort of thing, you know? Right. You know, make it. But then I learn what all these levels do, you know? Right. So all that, just play with it. Right. So one of the things that I've noticed is that you just made the sky blurry, which you know, sometimes you think, why would you want the sky blurry? But it actually uh, makes sense, right? Well, it depends on the person photographic style. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have right. blurry skies, some don't. Yes. So if you have you happen to have sky texture that was tech shop and the picture you shot, suppose mm -hmm. we have really, really shallow depth of field, then you right. would blur it. It, it makes sense, so it's believable. They, yeah. they thought about everything from right. we align the skies, to right. closing the gap, uh, flipping yes. the skies, uh, changing the warmest and cold tone of temperature of skies, exposure to the skies. Basically, you can control everything. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't need, really need Photoshop <laughs> to do that, or you don't have to do it manually anymore, just put it this way. Right. Again, it's it's another step up. Uh, this is a standalone application. You can use it as is, but I know a lot of photographers already use Lightroom because who doesn't use Lightroom if you're doing like a, a lot of photos, right? So even with this, you can just click on your photo and then just open up this application right from the photo and then batch the results really quickly and make it a streamlined workflow. Very, very oh, cool. Yeah, totally. yeah. Okay. Let's try some other pictures, shall we? See. Yeah.
And while you're looking at the one. pictures, I should really reiterate on the price. Like you can click on the link below to see the price. This is so affordable. Like anything you buy in the photography world, whether it's even a like a tripod or a lens, you can't even buy a cheap lens. That's the price of this software, right? You buy a battery for your camera. It probably costs <laughs> almost as much as this software. So if no. you think about it, this is such a, well, it depends. Are you buying aftermarket battery or you're buying an OEM battery? But anyway, <laughs> what I'm saying is the price for this software down below it's so cheap I mean it's an investment and if you buy it from Amazon you know the, the return policies is great you know the customer service is good it makes it so easy and you can just download it right now when you click on the link below it lets you download it it works on PC and Macs you can get going right away it's great you know wow, let's nice try portrait. something different too thank yeah. you let's try something did you so, take that one yes so oh. um, for Luminar besides the sky yeah. It mm -hmm. also had the AI skin enhancer. AI so skin for por enhancer. So okay. portrait, you love uh -huh. this. Okay. Oh. So you can actually click on the AI defect removal and give it an amount that you want to have the skin smooth. Can you oh. see the differences? It's subtle. And I think there's a little bit lag because we're doing a screen share, but I can uh -huh. start to see, yeah, I can start to see the difference. Yes. It it's yes. not it's supposed to be subtle. It's not supposed yeah. to be dramatic because you yeah. want to retain the real skin texture. So right. when you see how the defect of figures and all that will kind of smooth yes. out. Yeah. Look at how good yeah, the skin is actually see. work. You can actually yeah. see it from here. There. Oh That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Right, right. The beam point right. after is amazing. Yes. Should I use this before after? Because it's just it's less laggy, sometimes, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, see it's how, easy to see. Just yeah. don't focus on the nose. You see how else that? Yes, this actually makes it easier to see because, you know, when the effect is applied, it's hard to see with your screen share. Mm -hmm. But this is great. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it's always the hardest thing to adjust the skin because as a photographer, I, as a wedding photographer, where I shoot mm -hmm. 7, 8, 10, even 12 hour weddings, and I shoot with two cameras, my wife shoots with me, she shoots with the camera, and with the digital age, we like to shoot a lot of pictures because you want to capture that perfect moment. As for the journalistic mm -hmm. photographers, we want to capture that perfect apex. And we have so many photos to deliver because it's hard to discard them when you have so many good ones, right? And the problem is, if you fix the skin on one of them, you have to fix it on all the other ones. Otherwise, they say, oh, you know, why do I look bad in this one? But again, this makes it so quick and so easy to adjust it, and you could do a bad job on this. It just that, that's it what always, that's one of the topics yeah. I always talk about is that there yeah. they have like professional skin retouching um, right. skill sets out there, such as like yes. um, separate uh, frequency mm -hmm. separations. Uh, I yes. think some of you might know about that. Basically, it's break apart the texture and the skin color yeah. and then retouch it. It takes yes. a long time to do. And like you just said, oh. uh, if it's for wedding photos, you got what thousand, a couple thousand pictures. A wedding, oh, yeah, and yeah. get it all. It's gonna take forever, and also, we're not dealing with commercial clients, even though this for this job is a commercial job. Mm -hmm. But, but I think that looks pretty amazing, amazing already by itself. Yeah. yeah, now what they do on the AI skin enhancer here, they be too big because when you actually remove, we touch skins, um, right. basically, you want to with defect at the same time, mm -hmm. you want to even out the skin tone. So, if yes. you look at this differences, that is exactly what I do. Right. And they add in right. one more thing, it, which is shine removal. If you notice her nose here, oh, the highlight. So if I yes. put this up, see how basically some of the skin tone got back yes. onto the overexposed area. Right. So they even out as well. Right. And I mean, we're, we're taking this for granted and we just need to step back to realize what's happening here. Because if you were to do like smart remover on the skin, smooth of the skin, removing of the freckles, all that takes many different steps, many different layers. Right here, you have one slider bar and it's called an AI skin enhancer. So it's actually using a database of billions of photos and opinions and preference and figure out what's the best effect to apply to the skin to make it look really good. And it it does a really good job. And the, the slider is to tone it down, like how much of this effect you want. Like 100% might be a little bit over the top because you can really see it. 0% well, is Well, the reason I pointed it that right? I just want to show that right. after, so it's easier. But normally you, can, right. you don't want to do that. 
of course. Right. No, but yes. my point is that it, it's one slider that takes care of everything, mm -hmm. right? Because normally you would have to worry about the freckle removal, the spot replacements, or like the smoothness of the, t the skin, everything, right? With this one AI. And also the colors and the brightness of it too. It does all of it. It's AI. And one button yep. does everything. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we're not done yet. <laughs> that's oh, just the skin. Well, that's 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 a good thing. So there's more stuff to this. So they like, also have AI enhancer. Look at all these functions you can play with. Okay, um, let's zoom in just here? a tag. Sure. Now, for sometimes if you're using Flash, whatever you know, you have wet eyes. Yep. They have wet eye removal, yeah. but I don't have that here. But Everyone let's has play wet eye with. Remember. Yeah. Look at her eyes. I mean, her eye looks pretty good right. already. But then they look great. Let's try with eye enhancer and see what it does. Ooh, wow, the catch light. That's like what you would mm -hmm. want, like a big softbox for that amazing little catch light I can on the also eyes. So brighten up the eye brightening. See how? Ooh, yes. Oh, whoa, the before and after. Wow. Wow, that, that looks really good. You know, especially when brides are so excited, they can't sleep the night before. They, they have all the energy in the world on their wedding day, but you oh, can't hide. You know how they like, have dark circle too? You see how dark yeah, circle we move? Right, up? right. Wait, it can do that too? So, oh, well, you can't snap. really see it from her. She don't have yeah, the dark she circle. Have but if you notice, if you notice the, the bottom of the eyes got brightened. Yeah, yes. So yeah. that's what it does. Like and, all these things, it's just one slider. And then did you even you don't even need to pick the eyes, right? You didn't need to say uh, this is the eye. You just move the eye slider because you it's AI, it. right? Artificial intelligence. It knows this is the face and this is the eye. So if he's moving the slider to adjust the eyes, I know which part. Like I don't have to waste time to mask it. The software does it automatically. That's the amazing part. Exactly. The price for this software is under a hundred bucks, dude, down in the link below. Like you can't even get anything remotely that can improve your photography as much as the software. Like mm -mm. that's the bottom line. This is so cool. And again, we're not even done yet, right? There's like a ton more no, features, no. right? Well, let's try the slim face 2.0. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just, you just, that's like a photographer's worst nightmare and dream come true at the same time, right? Because you always have these awesome clients. They look amazing, but they'll say, because they're their, their own worst critic, they'll say, can you make me a little bit thinner, right? And it's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna take great photos, but that takes so much work to make you thin. But this software <laughs> literally just did that with a slider. Again, you don't need to mask anything. You don't need to tell the software this is a face, this is a hair, this is a shoulder. It knows where's the face and picks oh, yeah. it for Find you. It. It's like, what? It's amazing. Like right. technology. This, the the is, next one is kind of, blows my mind. kind of interesting. And large eyes. Let's get a big as possible uh, how that look. <laughs> you, you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> Snapchat, Snapchat. <laughs> oh yeah, you do that if you want, but nobody will go that crazy. Right, you get, you get in That's between. an option. That's an option. And then you know, um, for some time, I think it's, okay. people will like that. People will like that. You know, there's a lot of like apps out there, like camera apps, they actually put makeup on you. Yeah. So um, I feel like if you're gonna do digital makeup in say any other software, it's right. going to take you a little longer. I mean, not that impossible, but it's going to take you mm -hmm. a little longer time. Than this. But this one is fun. Let's say we could improve the eyebrows, darken it. Ooh, See that? yeah. Okay, yeah. we also look at the <laughs> lip saturation. Yeah. And get Wait, it what, more wet if we are. What? Wait, did you say lip separation? Saturation. Oh, saturation. See? Okay. Look okay. at lips. That's actually big. That's a big difference. That is amazing. Like I've, I've been shooting for a long time and if someone told me, can you add more lipstick to my lip and make it redder? Like that's something that I would spend hours on one photo. I'll say, hey, pick one photo that you really like. I'll mask it out. I'll adjust some color filters on it. And I'll make it better. But this software makes it so easy. Oh. So, so easy. Actually, it does work. So uh, the wet eye be removable. See that? Yeah. You can pick the eye black. So let's Ooh, say if like you have wet eyes in there, it yeah. will with that. Right. And the reason why normally you have red eyes with direct flash and in a very dark mm -hmm. room, 
which as a professional photographer, you tend to control better by having off-camera flash but not looking directly with the flash. But it still happens time after time. So that's why that filter is there. It's good. It's good to have. Well, I saved the best for last. So face light. I think I, I talked to you quite a lot about this, David, is that I could create lighting digitally. <laughs> so this software does the same thing. I could add more light onto the face. Just oh. look, nowhere else, just onto the face. Again, you didn't pick the face. It pick the face for you. It knew that's the face, it masked it out, and it just, just the face. Mm -hmm, that's just mm -hmm. mind blowing how smart the software is. Like, it just makes portraiture retouching so simple. <laughs> right. Like these, I, I've shot for 10 years, and when people say you need to touch up portrait, I always tell them, I'll take the pictures the best I can. If you want enhancement, you go outsource to somewhere else. Like, <laughs> I can't do it because that's not my forte. I don't have time to spend hours, months, weeks to learn this stuff, and then hours to apply it. This is not what I do. But this software allows me to provide so much more to my clients in a fraction of a second, and it just levels up the value of the photography work I do because not only do I deliver pictures out of camera, but now I deliver a value added on top of the picture. And again, this one small software, which is under a hundred bucks, price is down below. You can do all this and you can use this for like years, months, for months and years for all your photos, for for all your professional gigs, all your personal photos, all the pictures you take on your Facebook, uh, your your cell phone, right? You can just <coughs> put it in the software and you can make it look amazing. It will be even a nice gift for like a Valentine gift, right? To take a picture of someone you love, someone you care for, to touch them up a little bit, make them look even super nice. Like this software is so powerful, I just love it. I, I just cannot go off enough about it. Sorry about that. It's just amazing. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, you can talk. <laughs> well, I just love so, it. Um, yeah. So I do this kind of presentation quite a lot, and a lot of people say, yeah. Yeah, you know what, how we only show me like a few functions in there? How? What about yeah. a full picture? What do I do with full picture, right? So That's right. You know what? Show you that. Okay, this is the untouched, oh, wow. unretouched picture whatsoever, okay? Right. Right. Even the white files are I sh wrong. I should right? ask you, right now you're working with, with JPEGs or raw files or what does the software okay. load up? If you look at mm -hmm. here, it mm -hmm. show you it's raw file, see? And yeah. Oh. oh, wow. So I work with Canon. I, I'm actually used to the RAW format, but this is uh, the raw for like what, Fuji cameras mm -hmm. or what? Oh, no, this is so raw they, from Nik Nikon. <laughs> Nikon. Yeah. All cameras are the same, by the way. I love all cameras. I think it's the photographer <laughs> that makes the shot. But anyway, I just wanted to point out the fact that this software, as a standalone, could even import the, the RAWs as and well as the JPEGs. It deals with both RAW properly. and JPEG, uh, both formats, all different camera RAW, it will accept. Yep. Not a Perfect. So, yeah. um, okay, let's just do something with this picture, you know, right. let's retouch it with Loom and see what we can do with it. So, okay. uh, most easiest thing right now is let's fix the white balance first. I'm gonna use the eyedropper tools and I'm gonna pick this here. One click should do it. There you go. Oh, yeah. wow. One, yeah, I mean like eye drop. you just pick one part that you think so, is the so, correct white, white temperature, right? So basically it's not yeah. about the correct white temperature. You find that one point, which is the gray point, gray ah. middle point of the whole pictures. And okay. it will flat out the curve for the whole picture for you. Oh, now it's not perfect yet. We can still mm -hmm. fine tune a little bit. It like, looks a little bit blue. I'll be honest. So there. There we go. That looks right. good. So basically, the whole screen is done right here. Just mm -hmm. you, you got it done, but you know we lost. We can lop stuff with stuff there. So I'm mean, going to AI. Correction is a big jump, but now you're going with all the enhanced extra extra features to it, right? Mm-hmm. So let's, let's see, see what the do. AI think this picture needs. So it actually, bright, you see how when I do the AI, it brightens yeah. up the background, get a bit more contrast, make the picture more crisp. Yes. So that's what it does. So that, and, that one AI slider, is it, it, it thinks for you. It says, okay, this picture needs this much of this, this much of this, a little touch of this, a little touch of that, make this, 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 all these okay. changes. Let, let's and figure out can... what this AI just did. So. Oh, okay. We what I can see it is. Yeah. Yeah. So All right, I'm let's guessing see what, what it did. right here. All right. All right I'm guessing see. it met. You see how basically the yep. subject's face is good. The, the upfront yep. the lighting. So you see how the lighting doesn't really change much. But the yes. background 
it's enhanced. Ooh. So yes. it basically masks out the subject and just um, change the exposure of the background for you. Yes, yes. And, and it increases a little bit of sharpness and contrast yes. for the subject. I saw that too. That's what the slider do, right? And it's now, different for I, every if, photo you load, right? Yeah, it does that's, different things because it it's smart. It calculates yeah. for you. So if I had to do this all manually by myself, right? Right. Uh, right. So I have to go here, uh, go in exposure, right? But if I do right. that, look, it, even the face changes too. You right, because it's, it's called global bar. You're changing the whole uh -huh. picture, right? Whereas the AI, it masks different parts of it, adjusts a little bit here, masks the other part, adjusts exactly. a little bit there. That's it's how like masking takes so many time, and the AI thing basically masks for you automatically, and that just saves so much time. Yeah, I mean that that's the beauty of technology. We're actually using all these processing ability to replace us selecting the the parts of the picture to mask out to adjust on that part and adjust the different parts. It just not only does it do it for you, it actually intelligently picks what it thinks is optimal for you. I mean that's like. Two birds and one stone, right? It saves you time, plus it thinks for you, so you can control other things that you know, allow more creativity. Actually, it's do a lot, but then, you know, for, well, maybe I'm just picky. I just want to do more, right? So in this case, right. even though I've done it, I feel like the mm -hmm. orange that they're working on, which is skin tone is right. not good enough, I can okay. always go manually and go to color. Mm -hmm. When I go to color, I always go to my advanced settings, Ah. And because they have orange there, I could ah. basically adjust orange. You see how I want it lighter or yes. less orange. Yeah, this is this is advanced so stuff. That. Hmm? It's, it's it's kind of like masking so, the color, right? Only adjusting the color in that range. The, the, they're being really the, the nice here. The software right. setup, you can see that right. they put all the advanced and manual stuff under there, so it would not confuse you unless you really yes. want it. Then you go click. It. It's always there. Right. But you can right. always hide it, so that way right. it, it doesn't overwhelm can, you. you know. mm, exactly. The, the, exactly. The whole reason why I don't use Photoshop and the whole reason why a lot of photographers I know, they can, they can do their job. Like I've shoot weddings for 10 years and I barely spend any time in Photoshop just because I don't know all the details about it. I'm always overwhelmed with so many features. Whereas this, I think I don't even need to buy Photoshop because this does everything I need as a photographer. Photoshop is like a, a Swiss army knife that does everything overwhelmingly a lot of things whereas this does just enough and if you want more you can go to the advanced feature and get those extra fine tuning even within the software oh Again, yeah what we're doing what we're using here is a standalone application and when you buy the software link in below it comes with the standalone software but it also includes the plugin so you can run it right from photoshop and you can run it right from lightroom as well so you have all the options of how you want to use oh, yeah. the software very versatile yeah, it you, works on mac you, and pc and even this old PC that Jeremy has is like six years old. It struggles a little <laughs> well, you bit. Have to you keep bringing, stop keep bringing it up, okay? <laughs> I, want, I, I need to I'm bring fine. it up because we can see the lagginess on your screen. And I don't want people to think, oh, this software is bogging my computer. It's going to make my computer look slow. It's going to make my workflow slow. But it's not the software. The software is very efficient. If you have a computer that's within a few years old, you won't even notice like all these little jitters. It's just like Jeremy's computer is old. It's like six years old. Okay, that's the last time. I'm gonna bash yeah. it. Maybe not, but <laughs> go on. I'm sure you got plans for this photo. You're gonna make some changes I feel so because bad right now. Thank you. Why? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of value added to being conservative and spending money where you need to spend. Like you don't need to upgrade your computer all the time. You can spend the money to buy what's more important to you, and you can still do all your work as a professional photographer with this six-year-old computer, right? You can still run Luma Flash. Four on it. Okay, so I have to be honest. I have never retouched this picture anywhere. Okay. This is the picture I just pulled out from my you know, pool of pictures that I did not retouch. And I'm actually kind of shocked <laughs> I did that just one click to myself. Um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, I'm just, there's no, no script, nothing here, okay? I'm just like, go as I go, feel like what I need to do. So the next thing I feel like is I'm going to fix her face. Well, yeah. honestly, that's, that's some camera, right? I mean, we touch her skin and portraiture stuff okay not fix, fix her face, face. Just, fix her face man, that, that's, that's, that's all right. <laughs> of course not that's, a boom. No, anyway. ah, right. that's how you, you lose a job right away you never say that you're gonna make you're gonna make this beautiful model uh, even more beautiful look make her look professional there 
There okay, you go. so I'm gonna go into the AI scheme with Toucher because you know she has some really skin things that I have to take care of. So let's play it among. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks pretty good. Just yeah. like that. Oops. <laughs> what was that? The, the, the uh, color temperature. So basically, that's the whole before after it. It let you oh. see the original to where you're yep. at now. But also yep. here, a little trigger button here, you could click it to turn yep. off the effect of this filter so you can see what it does. So I like right. that. Okay, uh, I don't need the shine removal, there's no shine on her because this is like a natural right. light palette. So, nice. but I need to brighten her eyes. So let's use the mm -hmm. eye and sensor. Whoa, mm -hmm. that looks nice. Okay, <laughs> Woo. eye whitening. Yes. Now, for this picture, she does have little yeah. eyes uh, back. No, what do you call it? Dark circle under the eyes. So let's see. If yeah, this yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I can. See, it works so well. Look it at works. that before and it after. Works. That's crazy. That 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 is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Like and I don't even know how to do that in Photoshop. Like how do you oh. even do that? That's crazy. Yeah. You got to do it manually. <laughs> I mean, even if you have to do it manually, I don't even know where to start. Like, I would try to okay. use like some clone tools and whatnot, but it's gonna look so fake. But that looks so realistic with what you just did. So with one her slider. eyes were not entirely open in this picture, so let's enhance it just a bit like that. Okay, and that's an eye opener. That's an eye opener, right? <laughs> back in the shadow, lip situation, the yeah. witness. Let's do. Uh, I don't doubt this. Right Again, the cool bit. thing is, you just you just say, okay, change the eyes, change the lip, change the background, change the face. But you you <laughs> yeah, never have to mask it and say this is a face ever. You just open the software, you load up the picture, and it knows this is the eyes, this is the lips, this is the face, and it does all this automatically. That's so AI. This is before. Yeah. This is after. Wow, wow, wow. Very, now again, I'm very basically pushing unique, all the, subtle differences. All the levels all the yeah. way so that it looks, you, you can see, because I know there's some, some lagging here, so I just there's want to make sure you see There's a little bit lag. It. Yeah, yeah. But you, once you look at this picture a little bit longer, it starts to look very natural, and actually it's very pleasing. Like, I like her eyes that big. Like, she might say, oh, th those are not my eyes, but if you do subtle, uh, pe people like it. People love it. it. And then again, there you go. yep. Yeah. Uh, let's nice. try our function and see what port in the port you know what else it does. Yeah, high key. Check it out. I don't use high key much. Let's see. Oh, okay. Basically, it's basically make the picture less saturated and brighter. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not my taste, but you know some people like it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then what this this alternate effect. Okay, that's what it does. Oh, okay. Ooh. Give those like dreamy looks. Yeah, like a uh, more like an old school art. Painting yeah. a little bit like a painting. Again, it's not nice. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, and, so I personally I stay with creative there all the time because like, one thing I really like to play with is they have the color style loot. Mm. Okay, this is fun for um, color grading. Mm -hmm. Speaking about color grading, if you want to learn about that, I think we made a video in our channel. What is that channel? Yep. The channel is called Pixel Stabbers. It's a That's three right. hour masterclass. Yeah, this is so this is a about, three hour okay. video. Right, right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So anyway, what did you talk so about if you want to check out that, we we'll talk about it in the yeah. video. So we, you can check that out if you want. Um, yeah. So you could go down here. Okay. It basically characterizes all this different color toning stuff. Cinematic toning, creative. Right. Right. Pause processing and portrait tone. Right. What's so right. fun about this is Photoshop had this. But ah. Photoshop won't let you see preview by just mousing over. Oh, <laughs> this one. This does. is so valuable. So, so you can choose which one you like by. You don't care even care the name. Just scroll down and yeah. see which color looks good for you. And you it's kind of like with playing it. with Instagram when you're trying to figure out the Instagram filter. This is kind of like that, but in the professional sense, right? Mm -hmm. It Very is nice. so much fun. With all this. It is. Yeah, I, and I this is really there. how you. You step up your photo, right? Everyone can take nice pictures these days because all these cameras are like so sharp, so much megapixel. They got perfect autofocus. Everything is great about them. But this is what separates you from like the other people that are taking really good pictures too because you just level up your game with this small, this awesome software for such a small price. I want to do more 
this? Should I do more of this? I like this. <laughs> there. It's fun. And you can it's also fun. control the contrast afterwards. Give it right. more contrast or less contrast. Yes. So I like yes. that. Yeah. And saturation, you could push it up if the look actually kind of desaturated, but you could bring it back a little bit. And yeah. that actually looks pretty good. That looks great. I like. Let's see the before and after one more time. Can we see the before and after? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's huge. You know what? Like, I need one more thing. We need some cropping. There you go. Oh. Get the rule of third right on her face. There you go. Yes. So then when you look at the picture, not only does the color and sharpness draws you to it, but the rule of third draws you to her face. Woo! Exactly. That is quite amazing. That is quite amazing. And you get to like play around with yeah. all the effects just by clicking through it, seeing the live previews right it's away. It's easy, right? And well, adjusting I just did the from, changes. From yeah. Turning this to this. Yeah. yeah. Just feel click here and there, playing around. And if you were to get the same effect, you if if you were to ask a professional retoucher how to do this, Jeremy, from scratch in Photoshop, how long would it take you to do the eyes, to do the lips, to do all the effects there? I would say minimum from forty-five minutes to two hours. That's that's generous. I would say five that's hours generous. to six hours for me. Like that's a lot oh. of stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's for me. <laughs> the wrinkles, the wrinkles below her. This is this guy's been doing digital photography for fifteen years as a graphics designer artist. So he's been playing Photoshop. It's his bread and butter. But for me, I can see this to take you like six hours, eight hours, almost infinite hours because I don't even know how to put the shadows or remove it from the eyes. Like it does all that. And again, no masking. Everything is just slider. Like. You want to adjust the eyes, you just adjust the slider uh, for the eyes, and it knows where the eyes are. You adjust the color and saturation of the lips, oh, yeah, it knows it where you. the lips are. It's amazing. Yeah, I found it for you. It's amazing. So yeah. um, there's a couple of things in the creative which I really like. Uh, I like the matte look. Yeah. So if matte I can look. zoom in, let me show, show you what that does. It actually has talent right. uh, contrast, so the picture looks more like a little faded. So it looks like it's the old theme look. You see that? Mm, yes, yes. Yep. See, right now it's more contrasty. Yeah. And when I do that, basically push the contrast to more even and soft. Ah, it doesn't really nice. make the picture just soft. It's just the contrast itself soft. Yes. And then once you did that, you got a film grain. You add some film in there. Ooh. This is some advanced side. techniques. It's just sliders, but the combination of what you're doing here, I like it. It's like it's like a, a recipe, you know, like a cook. Yeah. You have all these ingredients, but like I, I can't make a good soup. But if you give the same ingredients to a professional chef, they'll make a soup that you can buy for like a hundred bucks, and you'll you'll probably value it. And that's what you're doing mm -hmm. here. You're using these sliders, but the right amount of each, it's just it, it's a it's a formula. What you're doing here, it's artistic. Now Balance. They actually gave it a lot of function. If you only want crazy about it, you can pay with the right. texture overlay. For me, I have a folder so I can load your own textures. So ah. I, you see now, Jeremy's Photoshop stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have quite so the many textures. So yeah. let's say if I could pick a, let's pick that one. All right. Ooh. I could actually put texture on top of this image if I wanted to. Right. Like that. And change right, blending to soft yeah. light, so I could. Oh, that looks so good! It's like it's there, but it's not even there. It just, it's just kind of ingrained into it. It's really good. It is good. there. Yeah, oh, but it's, it doesn't in, pop so. out. It doesn't pop out with, at you like oh, someone put all, a texture with, on it. Right. So with all this different blending mode, I could do a whole lot. Yes. But mostly, I just but, do overlay, not overlay, just right. soft light. That's the best one. But again, what you're doing here is advanced. Like when people want to just do a quick thing, they can just go to some of the basic top level menus, but slide a few yes, things, and you get amazing it, it, already, it's right? It's Photoshop or Lightroom. This is like advanced stuff. Right. But look at it here. It makes it so yeah. simple. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And once you start playing around with the basic stuff and you get bored with it, you'll get to this stuff in no time. And then again, pushing your digital photography way above the competition with this tool. I it's mean, just, the tool it's is right so here amazing. on your right. It's all there for you yeah. to choose from to turn a picture right. like this to this. Incredible. Like 
you can buy all the plugins you want in Photoshop and <laughs> Lightroom. You can't get this effect because those plugins are not AI. They'll apply the same result to any photo and it only works if you have a specific photo. Whereas this, what you're doing is you're using AI. You apply technology and you apply algorithm to the photo. It's amazing. It does so you, wonderful. You, you know the photo. cool thing about this? Okay, yeah. so if you really want to turn a picture from this look, besides the warmness, okay, this look yeah. to this look. Right. Okay, so have, have you seen this? They have a look, right? Ah. So you're familiar with the concept in Lightroom or Photoshop called Actions or Preset? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This That's what I was exactly talking about. This is exactly what this is. So let's say I have fun with this look, okay? Right. I right. can actually go in here, see, save new look. Oh. I can give it the name and save it. So oh. I have that look with me. So the next picture is similar. I want the wow. same look. I can apply it. Again, when you apply it, it's not a dumb apply. It's actually using AI to apply, it, right? It's a combination of all those yeah, sliders. Yeah, like AI. Yeah. So let's save. See this? Right. It's like it's even with the yet. action. There is process. See? Yes. <laughs> and then the, you can also right. work on here to minimize the look. So Adjust you the get a similar effect. look on the other pictures. Just like that right oh yeah because you you want like the whole consistency between all the pictures mm -hmm. and you cannot do this with lightroom you cannot do this with plugins normally because the plugins will apply the same effect to everything and you can't say this is the lip apply this effect to this lip because there's no ai in it you know the old school lightroom plugins they'll apply like like a little you see how when I click on that, right? it has the image process right. on there. That's the AI right. working. Check yeah. out a picture where they need it. Yes. So in other software, it won't work like that. The same look. Right. Okay. So if you look at the picture here originally, right, right. This is natural light, right? Yes. Natural light picture, less yes. lighting. This is fat even. This picture yes. here, she's next to the window. She yes. has highlight and shadows. Yeah. So yes. those two picture lighting are different. When you apply the same preset right. from other software, it just won't work. Won't work. But in won't here, work. the AI will calculate what's needed. You know what's crazy? This is so unscripted. You've never even edited a photo, and yet you demonstrate it with so much, like, you believe it so much because you know it works. And you're just doing it live here, unscripted. That's amazing. Uh, that's a testament of <laughs> how much we love this software and how much we believe that it works so well and efficiently. Like we use it in our day-to-day -day work and mm. we shoot weddings and we shoot pre-weddings and we do packages about, like that for thousands and thousands of dollars. And we feel that this software adds value to our work. I mean, it's worth, in one photo that you edit, it's already played for itself. Because Jeremy, how much do you upsell one photo? Uh, 150 to 250, depends. Twice the price of this plugin already. In one photo, not only do you make back your, your cost of this plugin, you made yourself 100 bucks. And it took you like 10 minutes versus two hours, right? This software is a game changer. It is a well, game changer. Well, if people work with this software, not enough and yes. save all this look for yourself, <laughs> yeah. It will take you probably two seconds to touch a picture. <laughs> right, right. Once you have the looks. Yes, yeah. I mean, I, I, you, you're only making the software even sound better, Jeremy. I, I think already, like, there's no question. Like, if anyone sees this video, I'll be surprised if they don't buy the software. I mean, it's just a no-brainer. If you're a photographer and you shoot any amount of picture, even if you shoot pictures on your cell phone, this software is a game changer. It will take any oh, yeah. photo you put in here 10 times better, and it takes fractions of a second to apply the results. It's mind blowing, mind blowing. That looks pretty good. I did a good job. <laughs> did you do a good like job it. or did the AI do a good job? I'll, hey, I'll give I you credit. Did a good job. <laughs> I would say a combination of the two. I mean, again, that's where this software allows you to be a creative, right? You don't have to spend all the time masking things. You don't have to spend all the time doing the other busy, busy work. You spend time making the critical artistic decisions. Exactly. That's yes. what the software does. Take away all the technicals because technical, it's somewhat considered grunt works. 
So when yes. you take over the groundwork, it leaves you more creatively room in your head to think about how you want to be creative rather than how to make that work. When yes, you think absolutely. about how to make that work, how to work that tools, how to make that function, it mm -hmm. takes away the time and your mindset about creating. This is allow you to, to create rather than figure out how to work the software. The software yep. is supposed to be a tool. You, sup you don't supposed to learn the software. Like a tool, you don't learn how to use a hammer. You, you pick up a hammer and start smashing. <laughs> That's what it does, right? You have right. a screwdriver, you know you stick at something that's got screwing. That's yep. a tool. <laughs> it helps you to finish the job. You don't yes. have to go to school and learn how to use the hammer before you hammer yes. a nail, right? Yeah, so yeah, exactly. What Lumina 4 did here exactly that. How many software out there like imaging software out there that you don't have to learn and you start working on it. Besides Instagram, okay, don't talk about Instagram. That's not the same. <laughs> right, right. I feel like this is the only the first one I've seen. Really, right. like, you pick up, you start you start working it. You don't have to learn it because it's just so, Yes. like kind of like iPhone, right? When you start picking up, okay, where's the keyboard? But you know how to use it already. Same thing. It's intuitive. What it is, it's intuitive. Exactly. It's so simple. Uh, it just works because you don't need to find a manual. You can slide the bars and you see the results right away. And you, it comes pretty fine with the result. Like even if you import the photo and you open the software, it's got a tasteful pre-configuration. You can even just say, oh, that's already better. And I can save it and send it to my client and it's already <laughs> 10 times better. But then you play with the filters and the sliders a little bit and the results are at, they're, they're limitless. They're just limitless. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, I think that's pretty much about it, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, hey, there's this, there's that um, picture I saw above. Pixel Stabber. What's that about? Oh yeah, uh, basically this guy is actually donating five bucks to oh, uh, the situation, like whoever buys the yes. software. So it's uh, you're also helping people if you buy the software too. Yes, yeah, help people out. And there's a code there, Pixel Stabbers. Um, mm -hmm. I. Yep, say it's an extra 10 bucks. Sweet! Yep. So, uh, should we end here about like, did sure. anyone have any questions? Or do you have yeah. any questions? There's, there's some questions here like, okay, so what software, um, sorry, what platform does it work on? So as we, as we already mentioned, like, like it works both on PC and Mac. both PC and Macs. And then some people are asking about like hardware configurations or how fast is Jeremy's computer? No, I just made that up. <laughs> the, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the, question, the question is really about like what kind of performance of a computer do you need? And we've, we already covered that. Like if it works on Jeremy's computer, like what you saw it's here, six it'll work six on years any old. modern computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you buy it with the link below, it's a downloadable link. You can just install it, use it right away. Um, you have infinite abilities at your, your disposal. I think as a photographer, anything you want to buy to improve your photography, unless it's like a cheap book, everything is over $100, whether it's a lens, mm -hmm. whether it's a battery, whether it's a memory card, whether it's a filter, like when you screw on your lens, whether it's a flash. I mean, you can, you can spend so much money, but this one small software that's like <laughs> under $100 makes so much result. It's just my Did you mention it also investment. works with Photoshop as a plugin as well as Lightroom plugin? So you work with your original workflow. You basically follow it. That's what exactly what I did. I work with Lightroom yes. and Photoshop and I put this into my workflow and it saved me so much time. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I love that so much. I'm going to reiterate that like, exactly. For someone that uses Photoshop primarily, you can always launch uh, Lumina right from Photoshop and work on it. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done working on it, it comes in as a, another layer on Photoshop. So you can adjust the, the opacity of that layer and do whatever mm -hmm. you want in Photoshop. And same with for me, I use Lightroom. So I don't want to have to say, oh, okay, this is a new software. How do I, if, how do I apply it to my workflow? I can just do what I want. And when it's time, like, okay, I got a few minutes. Let's, let's play around with the software. I just double click it or actually I right click it, launch Lumina right from it, make the changes, go back, it's already done. So that's how you integrate your workflow. It's almost brainless. It just works. You don't need to think actually, about integrating it. It's just, yeah. For the Lightroom integration, even better because they say if you are a wedding photographer and there's some photo yeah. you just want to retouch a little bit on the skin on the face, you bring it yeah. into Luminar, retouch it right away yeah. and back into Lightroom. Easy. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. It, it just makes it so easy to uh, adapt to any workflow. It's cheap, mm -hmm. it's affordable, and it's easy to use. It makes your photos 10 times better. I mean, photographers always ask me, uh, you know, because you and I are like seasoned wedding photographer, right? So we always get asked by people like, I'm starting photography, how do I get better? Or I've been photographing for five years, what can I do to get better? How do I get the results like that? Yes, you can learn all that, but it all takes a lot of time and effort. This is one thing that you can do that just puts you at the next level with so much little time and so much little cost. Of course, as you improve your journey as a professional photographer, I definitely recommend you to learn lighting, to learn how to pose people, to oh, learn yeah. emotions, to storytell, everything. But this small bit goes a long way in addition to everything. But yes, definitely get this as one of the building blocks to enhance your photographer either either as a hobby or as a career. It's it's a no brainer. I totally Definitely recommend it. No brainer, no brainer. I recommend it. I, I stand behind the software. I'm an ambassador. Come on. You're right. <laughs> so that's why we brought him along the for the show because he knows his way around the software. But if you guys have any questions, you can always ask him uh, at his channel, Pixel Stabbers. I'm also on Pixel that channel Stabber. as well. Yeah, check it out on YouTube. Um, I have a tech channel called Utechpia if you're interested in that. Or just follow us, follow me on uh, Amazon Live as Utechpia and you'll see a lot of him too because he's been involved in a lot of things that we talk about. So I always like to invite him. It's always awesome to have a second opinion and he's also really talented and great at demonstration and using his tools yeah. with his artistic background <laughs> and his 15 years photography experience. I love bringing him on. He's always a helper. So if you guys like to see this, follow us and uh, we'll have more to come. So yep. uh, anything else you want to add, Jeremy? No, I think that's pretty much it. You got it all. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. It's been a fantastic time talking to you, sharing with you guys Luminar 4. Um, buy it. I recommend it. There's tons of reviews. If you don't trust what we say here, read the reviews. There's like tons of reviews. Mm -hmm. Everyone just loves it. Anyway, we've been blabbing on too much. We'll let people decide for themselves by clicking on the link and decide if they want to buy it. And we'll leave it at that. Have a good night. Have a good day. See you all. Good night. Adios. Bye bye. bye. See ya. Adios, good night, and we are out.